You asked. Do I have to export my extra solar energy? So, if you have a solar system that generates electricity, the way it works is that that electricity travels into your house and is used by any of the appliances that you have on in the house at the time. So, if you watch TV, wash your machines, whatever it is, that's where the electricity goes. Now, sometimes your house consumption overall during the day will be higher than what your solar system generates. Maybe it's a very cloudy day, you have everything running at the same time, dishwasher, washing machine, heater, aircon, everything drier. Well, that's more consumption that maybe a medium-sized system can generate. In that uh, case, you pull the energy that you need, the electricity, the additional electricity, I should say, you pull that out of the grid. So your house might use six kilowatt hours at a given time, three kilowatt uh, hours is generated by your system and three kilowatt hours you're pulling out of the grid. If you have only a smaller consumption, maybe there's a time that your system actually will supply everything that you need in your house and has a little bit extra. And in that case, that extra electricity uh, doesn't go just kind of somewhere uh, if you don't have a battery. It actually then gets pushed back into the grid and at this point in time, you get what's called a feed-in tariff. So you get paid for it. And, oh, 10 years ago, the feed-in tariff in some areas of Australia was 60 cents. And, geez, we made a lot of money. But now, a lot of the energy retailers have reduced the feed-in tariff to maybe 5, 6, 8, 10 cents, which isn't really such a great thing because you're buying it maybe for 25 to 30 cents a kilowatt hour, and then you're exporting it and giving it to them for 6 to 8 to 10 cents. So somebody's making a good margin on that. But one of the options there is actually to not send that electricity out of the house and look for other ways you can use it. Uh, one of the ways you can use it is to try to put that electricity in your hot water tank. So there are products called catcher power, for example, that will then uh, deviate that spare electricity that your system generates and instead of exporting it, it's actually putting it into the hot water system. And of course, the most obvious solution for any spare electricity is to get a house battery. Uh, a home storage battery nowadays uh, financially still take six, eight, ten years to pay themselves back. But of course, they're protecting your house when you have a blackout. So um, the answer is your extra electricity doesn't just go somewhere magically. It has to go to the grid. It has to go into a hot water system or it has to go into a battery. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.